My video today is on how to create a favicon for your uh, Google site. Now, if uh, you're not familiar with this term, a favicon is that little image that appears in tab and when you bookmark sites that you associate with a site. If, uh, if you're new to Google Sites and you've built a Google Site, you'll notice that the favicon that appears with Google Sites is this white sheet of paper looking thing. And uh, no matter what your site is, it's all it's it's going to have the same favicon. And so I spent years with that as my favicon, not realizing what to do, you know, because I didn't know the term. And I finally figured out what that was called. And once I did, it was fairly easy to create one. And and it's just one of those things that just takes a few minutes, and uh, it's it just makes your site look a little bit better. So it's worth it. So anyway, um, first thing that you want to do is you want to pick a picture that both represents your site and also is not super complicated uh, because this is going to be really tiny. You notice that all the pictures on the sites that I have bookmarked are fairly simple little pictures here. You know, they're, they're nothing super complicated because these are so tiny. So what I'm going to do today for my favicon is I've got this hippie demo site that sometimes I play around with and it's kind of Bob Marley themed. So I thought I'd go with like a peace sign or something with some you know Rastafari colors and this is what I settled on so uh, now the in the thing is interesting with doing a favicon um, there's a lot of sites out there that will enable you to create these that you don't have to download anything for and that's what we're going to use today really doesn't matter what size your original image was whether it was big or small so don't worry about that as far as when you're picking this out find any image on Google I type peace sign save as put it wherever you're ready to uh, put something. So we're good there. I already saved this. And uh, next thing that you do, I have uh, on my website here, I have bookmarked this. So I will click on it. But for those of you guys who might be watching who've never been to my website, here's the, uh, the web address, the HTML. Or you could probably go to Google and type favicon from Pix and it will uh, this will show up this is there's a few different ones and they probably all work the same this is one I like because it creates a pretty nice image and it gives you a preview before you create the image so that's what I'm going to use and uh, you can see that right here and and you don't have to download anything I have not downloaded any software so uh, you've got this fab on from any picture you choose a file and let me see pictures I think I put this in miscellaneous and uh, I think it's Safari and something, so I'm going to look under R. There we are. So find that. Next thing you do, generate favicon. Takes a second. There we are. And. Looks, I've got a preview here, so I'm good. Now this one is going to show up as a zip file because it's also got an animated favicon. I, I have no interest in doing that, but to imagine you could use this all the same. What's interesting with favicons when you load them to your website is it's all about the naming of, of it's a certain file type and it and it has to be named favicon. So you're not going to rename this. So it opens up as a zip file on this one. And it's the the favicon. You have to have this the ICO thing, this favicon ICO. Okay, I don't know what what is coming up here, but we will click on that. There we are. There's my previewer. Make a copy. You can see I've done this before. So I'm in my now. Notice how one of these says icon favicon. I've got all this. I I realized in the end it has to just be called favicon. And so see how this is default favicon too because I already have one on there. It's better to save this under something that doesn't already have a favicon on it. But if you have, because you might want to experiment a few times, just remember that whenever it gives you an extra number, delete that number, save it as a favicon, and it is going to replace whatever you had before. So. Moving along, I save that. No, I don't. Or yes, I do. So I'm going to replace that. And I think when I put it in my website, it's still going to show the old one, but it is going to be the new one. So now I go back to the website I want. This is the easy part. So I go to 
manage site and the first thing that I do so back on Google sites once you saved your favicon as a favicon.ico then you go to manage sites and what you want to do is click attachments so hit attachments and I don't have any yet now the first thing you might want to do is search for something that has favicon on it or ico but I don't have any of these so it's just as simple as doing this and go to F Avicon. Now notice it's had the old one, but when I upload it, it won't be that. I just know that because I've done this a few times. Okay, and it should change now, but if it doesn't, we refresh and it'll change. There we are. Now, do you see? There's the money. We've got the Avicon, the little peace sign. And see how easy that is? And, you know, you just go back and doesn't really change anything on your site. If you ever wanted to change that, you can uh, either go in, and of course it just looks so much more professional when you have that as opposed to the generic Google site deals. Just one of those things I always look for when I go on a website, and it, it may not be something you consciously look for, but uh, you notice when someone doesn't have one. If you ever want to change that, then what you do is you go back into Manage Site, Again, it's under attachments. Now, strangely enough, all of your pictures that you put on your website are actually in attachments. So if you're wondering what all this is here, the pictures that are in the website. And then um, what you could do is replace, or you could delete the old one and, and upload a new one. Either one would work. I'm just going to leave it because, uh, you know, I, I want it on. But uh, I wanted to show you that just so you could see how simple it is to do this. And, and now you've got no excuse if you've been... You know, it took me three years because I didn't know what what that was called. You know, I finally had to figure out this is called a favicon, and uh, once you do that, the rest is pretty simple. Again, this website that I use is called favicon from Pix. I guess we could go and see if we can uh, find it real fast on Google. There we are. So pretty easy to find, same place. It takes sense to do that. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful to you and uh, changing all the Google sites one favicon at a time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.